Guys, welcome to all electronics. Today, a quick video showing some of the progress here on the 10 GHz source project. I'm posting a lot of these the circuit diagrams on Patreon. If you want to support the channel and the projects, become a patron. Link on the description. Okay, so guys, let's see how the construction is going here and let's review the topology because I made some changes in the frequencies in the frequency path here in the signal path so we can understand and here in this video we're gonna understand it better okay so guys let's see the main topology here of the circuit we start with a crystal oscillator here running at 21.46 dot 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 megahertz okay the exact frequency here needs to be turned so we get uh, 10 gigahertz output we multiply the crystal by 5 to get the LO of the sampler so the LO here is 107.2 megahertz okay this LO is what's turn on and turn off the sample and hold module here sampling the VCO signal that's entering here the sample and hold okay so we are down converting using sampling this is a time time domain converter down sampler and we are converting the 3.33 gigahertz to uh, approximate 6 MHz IF signal here. This IF signal is comparated with also the reference frequency, but now we are dividing again by 16 here, okay? So this math here will work out to generate 3.33 GHz here at the output, okay? So we have here the 3.33 GHz because the phase and frequency detector is controlling this PLL loop here using the two IF signals. This is the reference IF and here, and this is the down converted IF. So we have here in the middle of this connection, the loop filter, we understand it in the last video. Here the DC control voltage is around three volts and you're generating 3.33 gigahertz here that is multiplied by three to generate an output frequency of 10 gigahertz. And guys, here we can take a closer look at the modules, okay? So all the modules are made uh, um, separated using brass sheet enclosures. So you can see that this is a br brass box soldered around the PCB. Very easy to construct and the final result is beautiful and works pretty well. We have same rigid coax cable to make the connections of the modules. And here, the first module is the reference oscillator. So here we have the crystal, a capacitor to tune the crystal to the correct frequency. And you can see here in the layout, we have the footprint to solder uh, more brass sheet here to create a box inside the box here to protect the reference oscillator for in from interferences of the multiplier here. The multiplier by five here generates a lot of noise, so would be great if we can solder here more two sheets of brass to protect the oscillator. So the oscillator is pretty simple, it's a Pierce oscillator. I already posted the, the uh, schematics on Patreon. We have the crystal, the capacitor here, two transistors. This is the main oscillator here. This is the buffer to buffer the signal to the multiplier. We have pretty good filtering of the VCC here, of the eight volt line here. So we have a low pass RC filter here, two pole filter. So the DC voltage here is well controlled because any uh, uh, noise in the DC path here of the oscillator will be up converted to the output frequency. So in this line here, we have 21.4, 46 megahertz and this frequency is multiplied by a um, frequency multiplier I already shown here on the channel also using logic gates using a 74AC04 as amplifier and as the multiplier we have a tuned tank here at the fifth harmonic so we are capturing the fifth harmonic of 21.46 megahertz and amplifying it the logic gates are also used as the buffer for the output signal that needs to be very strong to go to the sampler. Here we have the phase and frequency detector. Okay, it's made using flip-flops as I showed 
shown in the last uh, video I made about the uh, uh, loop filter. And here is the divider by 16. So the 107 megahertz signal enters here, is divided by 16, and is the reference for the phase comparator here, phase and frequency comparator. In this uh, corner here, we have the loop filter, okay? And here, some adjustments to control the DC output of the phase and frequency detector. This module here is the sampler. So we have another 107 megahertz uh, line here that controls the balloon, that controls the step recovery diode here, that controls the sampler scotch diode bridge here, okay? So the 3 gigahertz, 3.33 gigahertz signal of the VCO comes from this line here, enters the sample, is down converted, amplified by the IF chain here, and the output signal goes here in, the, in this input here to be compared on the phase and frequency detector. Okay, you have also a lock indica indicator here that indicates when the system is in lock, when actually uh, this indicator will indicate when we have a very low error in phase and frequency between the reference signal and the VCO that is here on the side. Let's take a look on the VCO. Here we can see the VCO, guys, is the topology we saw in some videos ago. We have the band pass strip line here, band pass filter in the output of the oscillator, and a buffer here. We have this microstrip um, sampling part of the power here to go to the sampler, and the main output is this connector here. So where is the frequency tripler that will be in the output of the VCO? Remember that this VCO here is generating 3.33 gigahertz. So this is the tripler that's not working pretty well. I want more output power, guys. I want at least 0 dBm output power, so I we need to redesign the tripler here. This is the difficult part of the project, I think, because 10 gigahertz is a very high frequency. This tripler here is generating negative 10 dBm, okay? The tripler will be located here, also in a brass enclosure, okay? And we're going to have a connection here between these modules here, okay? I use it, an SMA connector here in the output of the VCO because I know we are going to replace the tripler in the future by a better uh, design. So it's nice to have a connector here. The connector is also soldered directly on the brass sheet there. It's a very strong solder here. You can see pretty well, pretty well uh, controlled the interference and the emission here. And of course, the VCO needs needs this cup here to pro well protect for from interferences. Okay, this is not the final cup because I need to make it with the uh, thinner um, brass. This is a, a thicker brass that's not working pretty well. But you have here, you can see that the main modules probably the VCO and probably the sampler will be protected by the cover. Okay, all these modules will be inside an aluminum enclosure. In the standard size, I use it for the power meter. So this module here, we are going to have this here, okay? And here on the side, we are going to have the tripler and the output of the tripler will be a semi-rigid coax cable that goes here to an output connector on the front panel. And this is the same size as the uh, power meter. I'm trying to make a standard here for my equipments so we can have more towers. We are going to have a tower like this one, but made by us. We can see that this will fit pretty well here. Nice guys. So this is the news I have. I still working on this setup here because I changed the division ratio here because in the last video I show this circuit working, I was using here 12, I divided by 12. But in practice, the divided by 12 didn't work pretty well. And actually guys, the 74VHC393 
is working well. It was a problem on my design. So the 12 the divided by 12 was not working. If I run it dividing by 16, that is the natural division of the flip-flops without any reset logic, it works pretty well up to up to higher frequencies than the specification. So the the integrated circuit is working okay. And I change it to 16 to have only the flip-flop chain inside the the counter, but now the frequency path changed a bit and I need to tune turn this the circuit to, to work again. Okay, this is the news. Uh, I'm posting more about it on Patreon, please. If you want to support the channel, support the projects and have access to the diagrams, please support the channel and the projects on Patreon. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and, and I see you in the next video here of All Electronics.